Today we're looking at a thermal camera extraordinaire. Boy, if you've been on the fence, man, now is the time to grab one. Not only is this thing incredibly powerful, but it's also inexpensive. Yes, an affordable thermal camera. Oh, the Top Don TC001 for your thermal pleasure. Let's take a look. Top Don TC View TC001. on has been around for a while they're not new on the block no i have a friend who has one of their instruments he purchased about three years ago still going strong so uh, reliability wise so far they are definitely proving to be just that now thermal imaging cameras are extremely cool and they are amazing in uh, the workplace on the bench especially or outside if you're into hvac maybe you're doing home repairs uh, you name it, this thing can find its place in just about any work routine. This particular model, the TC001, is designed for the Android. Uh, they also have a TC002 model, which is, I believe, iPhone only as well. Um, today we're looking at the Android version because, hey, I've got an Android. TC001 ships with this quick user guide. Now, this is not a manual. If you want the manual, just scan that QR code over here at the top and it'll take you directly to the top to on site. By the way, the manual is excellent in PDF format, uh, digital, and it has everything you need to know. But if you just need a quick cheat sheet, hey, that's what this is, because really to get started, it couldn't be simpler. And as well, what a bonus. We're getting a nice case here from Top Don. And look at the protection here. This thing is extremely well made. Boy, I would put an expensive telescope eyepiece in here as well. I mean, this is a fantastic addition. Gonna keep your thermal camera safe on the road. The Top Don itself is modular. Has no batteries. No, it feeds off the power supply of your Android device. Very nice. I actually prefer this compared to, let's say, one of these expensive FLIR models uh, where you're always replacing batteries. No, this makes a lot of sense to me. Also super compact, only about 71 millimeters in length. That's around 2.8 inches. Uh, man, this thing is just so sweet. And when I say connect to your phone, simply by that one USB-C connector, which fits in just like so. And when you do that, lo and behold, pop up with the Top Dawn software. Now, of course, you have to download the software first. Uh, you can either do it via the Google Play app store or directly via the Top Dawn website, which is what I did, just because you can rest assured you're always gonna get the latest software version directly from the vendor's website. Now, look at that. Is that modular or what? I really like the way it looks uh, attached to the phone because it just, looks simple it looks like it's all one device uh, it has a metal inlay with some plastic as well very well constructed i don't have any worries uh, that this is going to break apart now this is a very well made test instrument one of the downsides unfortunately is that that type c connector on the unit itself is just not quite long enough to work with most cases in, in like this for instance not going to work that top don is not going to initialize the software because that type c is just not long enough ah that's too bad so you're gonna have to probably remove your case uh, which is a bit of a pain because you know these things are slippery aren't they but once you remove the case yeah there you go if you listen really closely probably doesn't pick up over the studio mic but there's a slight clicking sound that's because the top don is always in calibration mode it's always trying to get the best uh, picture for your device so that very faint ticking sound is just the top don doing its job now, I have heard some people having uh, a challenge when it comes to landscape mode. Uh, for me, with my big Samsung here, really, the screen is the same. Doesn't matter if I'm inverted or not, so no worries. Also, when that top down is connected successfully, there's a light LED uh, blue in color, you know letting you know that you have a connection. Oh, I love being connected to my top right now in the top dawn app software for the android uh clicking on personal information first i can see it gives us a lot of info but something important is you can change your temperature unit so you can go from celsius to fahrenheit uh important definitely and it's sort of hidden there but 
good to know it exists. Temperature correction as well, um, gives you the version number, uh, another online user manual. Uh, you can save your settings, has a frequently asked questions area. So everything you need in that personal info. Next up, we have the gallery section, and here's where you have a archive of all of your videos or pictures, uh, all in one nice, easy place. You can view them as well directly from the gallery and uh, save them for viewing for later for yourself or for uh, clients. Next up is temperature monitoring. And once again, here you have a really nice foray into logging. So if you uh, turn on the logging feature, you can have all sorts of graph analysis on uh, heat points during uh, certain videos. And the last one, last but not least, of course, is the main thermal imaging section where, yes, this is where you can look at, oh my gosh, my hands are like, wow. But uh, there you go, thermal imaging, direct access from that top button. Very easy, very intuitive, uh, all in one neat place. Can't go wrong with this software, and I gotta say, it hasn't been buggy whatsoever. important aspect of any thermal imaging camera is the resolution and wow the top dawn does not disappoint are you ready for this a whopping 256 by 192 pixel resolution incredible at this price point that is really almost unbelievable um 25 hertz as well refresh rate that is so amazing. Um, it's higher than, let's take a look at that. Uh, oh, let's say the FLIR 1 Pro, which has, I believe, a 160 by 120 um, resolution and only a 9 hertz refresh rate. And what does that mean? Well, it translates into a smoother image, a smoother video, a better experience for you as the thermal imaging operator. So, man, at this price, it's, it's just insane. And change contrast, uh, image rotation. You can even put up to three hot points or hotspot locations on a screen to monitor specific areas over a time. So I'll food for thought, just to give you an understanding in millikelvins, this has a rating of 40 MK, 40 MK for this thermal imaging camera. What does that mean? Well, thermal sensitivity is the ability of the thermal device to distinguish temperature differences. Uh, this is measured in millikelvins, and this is one important number to look for when you're judging just how good your thermal camera is. The lower the number, the higher the sensitivity of the unit. Basically, anything under 40 MK is considered extremely sensitive, and that makes a huge difference, especially in adverse conditions like fog, smoke, and dust. It has the ability to cut out these conditions more effectively than higher MK sensors. So, man, oh man, you are getting a, a lot of bang for your thermal buck. Here's a really old uh, voltage reference source from uh, Heathbuilt. Uh, yeah, I was having some issues with this. Couldn't figure out where uh, the problem was until I put it on that thermal sensor. And lo and behold, this resistor is really bad. Super hot. And uh, yeah, once replaced, it worked like new. Um, there's the picture. <laughs> this thing just works amazing. So it can save you a lot of time troubleshooting. Well, here I am in a really noisy server room. And man, look at those cat cables, incredible. Yeah, I, I know it's a mess. This was done way before I came on the scene, but uh, anyway, you can imagine the heat that must be residing in those cables. We're gonna put this on the thermal camera and take a look at just how bad it is. Here we can see that heat dissipation. Wow, that is very, very hot for a server room. Um, look at that. The wider it gets, the hotter it is. Um, yeah, because these switchers are so close together and that air circulation just wasn't there, that creates a lot of passive heat. And let's face it, heat in a server room is probably never really a good thing. And once again here, Look at those switches again. The lighter it is, the hotter it is. 
So this tool is really, really indispensable when it comes to taking a overall quick look at what could be a very serious problem. Here's a quick peek at the Windows-based software. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not as thrilled about the Windows software as I am with the Android app. That's really like night and day. Um, yeah, you do have that live time graphing going on here uh, in Windows but I just don't find it nearly as user-friendly. It's just a little bit on the sloppy side. But uh, that being said, I'm gonna be using this with my Android uh, device 99% uh, of the time anyway, so I'm not too worried. But hey, there you go. Closing thoughts on the top down, TC View TC001. Oh, this is a deeper. Incredible loads of functionality for a fraction of what you're paying for in thermal imaging dollars. This retails for around 350 Canadian, uh, about 300 or so US, maybe a little bit cheaper. But man, oh man, it just performs like a thousand dollar unit. TC001 is extremely high resolution, has that excellent refresh rate, and the videos and pictures are almost as good as units costing four or five times as much. The fact that this is powered by your Android device, for me, makes a lot of sense. No more worrying about batteries. Hey, if your phone has a charge, so does your thermal imaging camera. This device is extremely well designed and I had zero issues with any testing at all. The only gripe I have probably is with the Windows-based software. I found it clunky compared to the Android app. That being said, I have no intention to use this with my laptop. It'll strictly be used uh, with my phone. Hey, if you're in the market for a thermal imaging camera that won't break the bank, look no further than the Top Don TC001. The Top Don gets a solid 4.5 out of five stars. Oh yeah, this is the thermal camera you have been waiting for. Hey, big shout out to Top Dog. Thanks so much for sending it in for this review. Man, oh man, I had no idea what a great thermal device this would turn out to be. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing.